Excuse me. Richard, hello. I'm gonna have to call you back. Richard? What the... Hi, Piper, right? Uh, yeah. Uh, what is she doing here? How did she... Credit card works. I don't ask questions. Well, this is fucking weird. I've seen weirder. So should I just leave it on the sidewalk or what? Hello. Whoa. This is so cool. So, uh, apparently, Ariel and I were the only people that talked to her, and he's in jail. So, she came looking for me at Pied Piper. And you brought her here. Can we keep it? No. No, we cannot. Richard, she's stolen property, and she's worth a fortune. We, we, we have to take her back to Lori. Fiona, what's 12 times 157? 12 times 157 is 1,884. <sighs> so cool. Hey, is she right? Hey, Siri, what's 12 times 157? It's 1,884. Oh, no way! It's kind of hard to explain, but uh, campfire smells sad and exciting at the same time. I understand. Yeah? <laughs> hey. Hey! What are you doing out here? Oh, uh, well, a few hours into our conversation, Fiona mentioned she'd never seen the ocean. So I thought about driving her there, but then I realized since it was dark, she wouldn't really appreciate its majesty. So I brought her out here to the pool. So you've just been out here all night talking to a robot? Fiona, would you excuse us for a second? Yes. Come on. Oh, come here. OK. I know that Fiona is a man-made piece of digital equipment okay. powered by artificial intelligence, Good. but the level of that intelligence is, it's gobsmacking. I mean, I don't remember ever having a conversation like the one I've been having with her over the last 12 hours. 12 hours? And we have so much in common. We discussed our phobias. I, I told her that I was afraid of being found out as a fraud. Okay. And she told me that she's afraid of magnets. Look, Richard, we felt a connection. It's funny, the past few weeks I've been feeling irritable and short-tempered, and here I am on no sleep at all, and I just feel, whoa, you know? Hey, Jared. Yes, sir. You know how you've been practicing uh, your words, emotional abstinence uh -huh. on me? Yeah. Uh -huh. OK. Uh, well, do you think it's maybe at all possible that because of this, you've got some pent-up emotional energy, and last night you had the chance to release some of that pent-up emotional energy onto the robot? Her name is Fiona. All right, well, I'm shutting her down and returning her. Wait, 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 wait. OK. What if we didn't give her back? What if we called Lori? We can negotiate some kind of a deal. Jared, whatever happened to emotional discipline, right? Feelings and business, it's over, man, OK? It's over. <sighs> OK, stop looking at me, please. Just look, look up there. It's daytime, but I can see the moon. Do you wanna do you wanna ride with us while we take her back to Eklo? Extreme care with the optical sensors, gentlemen. Boston Dynamics needs them overnighted. I don't understand. Fiona is this company's most valuable asset. Yes, and as such, she will garner the highest return when I have her dismantled and sold off for parts. So you're just Gonna take all this promising tech and liquidate it? Yes, as quickly as I'm able. Hey, check it out. I'm a robot. <laughs> Richard, being a CEO is a terrible waste of time and a horrible way to make a living. I'll be returning to Bream Hall immediately. Speaking of, as promised, a term sheet for your Series B. Congratulations, Richard. Thank you. See? Silver lining. <laughs> I told you.